What ghoulish goodies await for us in today's item shop? Find out next on Gamers Purgatory. What's going on gamers, I'm RC Styles, bringing you the next set of items coming to tonight's Fortnite item shop for October 22nd, 2020. Let's go ahead and dive on in. As like with the last uh, video I did, I'm not going to focus on the newly added items, although I will discuss something else that I found out about one of these items. Um, and I may have me purchasing said item later on. But coming up again, here we go. Crip Crusher Pack, Ultimate Reckoning Pack, Fortnite the Final Reckoning Pack. We got the Reflex Blades coming back with Siren again. Wolf is joining us here. And Exo Axes as well. Professor Slurpo. I'm, I'm sure it has something to do with uh, Professor Lupo or Dr. Lupo. The Drip Axe. And Slurpentine. We got the Doggy Bag. Chew Toy. And Rough. And here's one that's really interesting. Oro makes his return. There was a thing back in season two. Of and you would still have to purchase Oro himself. My buddy Tyler really wanted to go after this guy, and he got a hold of him. Uh, this, however, is not the character that I will be going after tonight. As a matter of fact, it's somebody we actually looked at in the item shop last night, and also Oro comes with this pretty cool back bling here as well. Um, <clears throat> and that is going to be in this next section up ahead. We got Vulture coming back to this to our item shop as well as Surf Rider. Uh, kind of interesting to see a summertime themed uh, skin making an appearance in the Fort Nightmares item shop. But hey, shit happens. Scanlines weapon wrap. Of course, you guys know I am not going to go over any of the dance emotes right now as I save those for the end of my videos, which brings up a good thing here. I actually have to find a different way to end my overview videos because nine times out of ten, we've already gone over the stupid dances at the end of the item shop video from the night before. Now, moving on to the skins. Party Trooper is still there. I see this character being in at least up until the weekend, if not all during Fort Nightmares. And coming up to the Cryptic Curse Bundle, I passed on this to get the Hollowhead skin last night, as you see right next to him. Um, because I, I thought that looked pretty sick. Not really realizing at the time, or maybe I just brushed past it, but not only does this guy come with additional skin styles, but you have challenges that you have to complete in order to get those styles, which piques my interest for future videos, which makes me probably going to go and get this particular skin later on tonight. My V-Bucks, uh, I may have to come up with a couple ways of order to get those V-Bucks. Um, I wish it would be something that I could share with you, uh, but I unfortunately cannot. Uh, yes, by the way, I do notice that it still, still says 10 days till Halloween, which is not accurate. It's actually 9 days till Halloween. Moving on. My fat fingers moved the screen. Anyway... Uh, Jack Gordon still in there. Carver harvesting tool still available. Uh, and you know, Hollowhead, I bought him yesterday, so we're not going to spend too much there. Uh, Skull Sickle is still available in shop, as well as the Grinning Ghoul. With the Crypt, cr with the crypt Cruiser, or cr yeah, Cruiser, and the Skull Trooper new edition is still available. We got the stickers, go along with Jawbreaker. And then we got the Nashi weapon skin with teeth 
What's going on with these mouth-based fucking skins? Globber. That's a harvesting tool. And, and Goo Glider. Again, with a fucking set of chompers, man. Jesus Christ. It's crazy shit. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Fortnite item shop. What are you going to pick up? Are you going to pick up anything? How are you liking the horror-themed uh, uh, store we got for ourselves here? Leave your comments below. Let's go ahead and take a look as we close at these stupid dances. I always take a look at these stupid ass dances because some of the characters that you do these dances with are just real fucking silly. But uh, we're going to start with the windmill floss. See, Cassie can kind of pull it off. I mean, Calamity can kind of pull it off. But I have someone here in studio that can kind of pull it off a little bit better. Come on over here, all dead. Show them how this floss is done. What, yeah, show them, just show them how the floss is done. Come on, Dave. Come on, get over here on camera. Come on, stand in front of me. It's okay. Go right for it. There he is. He's a flossing. He's a flossing. All right, I get out of here, you kid. You bother me. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we have so the windmill floss. Now, today, guys, we got to stay real focused here. And I don't mean on our text messages, but uh, tonight on Gamers Purgatory, we have the launch for the Transformers Battlegrounds. I hope to see you join me for that. It's about midnight eastern time on gamers purgatory that's why we're going to be staying focused because we are going to be uber fucking busy how did my daughter taylor get on fortnite <laughs> no all right guys uh that, that's gonna definitely wrap up our item shop review for this week and uh, as always i tell you guys to hit the like button subscribe smash that notifications button so you don't miss any more kick ass content coming from gamers purgatory and as always i'll be seeing you